Hi guys, good morning. This is Travis and Allie with One Up Adventures and Fly Products USA. Uh, we are flying our new Zenit Premier Cosmos 300 trike for the first time this morning. You guys have seen us fly in the Zenit Cosmos 300. Uh, we just um, got a new version. It's actually the only thing new is, is some of the accessories. We're going to explain that to you during the flight today. And uh, some of the really cool features of the latest edition of the Zenit Premier. So... You ready to fly? I am. I'm excited. All right. I'm passenger today. Let's see how this goes. Master engine. Oh, the sun is bright. Turn out. That's true. And clear prop. Let's go fly. Hi guys, Travis and Allie. We're up here about 400 feet over the Lake Wales Airport flying the Zenit Cosmos Premier. The uh, Premier version's uh, latest version of the Zenit Cosmos includes some really neat new features. Uh, this trike has the integrated Skyflyer trike strobe system. So we've got three strobe lights and position lights with multiple modes that are controlled from the cockpit. Additionally, the Zenit Premier now has the fly Henry meter in the cockpit. It integrates everything that we had in separate gauges before in one digital display. So we've got the uh, exhaust gas temperature, cylinder head temperature, RPMs, hours, a bunch of trip meters, ambient temperature, and down the road we'll be able to also add a uh, sensor for fuel on board and fuel flow. We should have that uh, by this fall. It'll be an add-on package. So in the cockpit, uh, the Zenit Premier has the Flybox a digital color LCD altimeter in VSI. Uh, this comes on automatically as soon as you turn the master switch on the trike. And it's really neat because it's, it's uh, something a lot of paramotor pilots don't fly with an al altimetry, but it is nice to be able to see, especially if you're flying around airspace. Uh, this is a precision instrument. It does have uh, the ability to set the barometric pressure as, as recorded on the local uh, airport uh, before you go fly so we can make sure that it is accurate, or you can set it to ground reference either way. But then it also has a, a vertical speed indicator that tells you what your climb rate and your descent rate is in feet per minute. Now, all this stuff is up in the cockpit. The cockpit's behind me. You can see it's well above the pilot and the passenger's head, so a lot of people get worried about, hey, is that going to be in my field of view? It's really not even going to be close to it. I mean, if you do look up, you will see everything on the cockpit very quite conveniently, but it's not going to be your, in your normal field of view for flying um, by any, any means at all. So I'm not really keen on instrumentation and all the gizmos and gadgets when I'm flying paramotors. I like to save that for airplanes or motorcycles, things like that, right? But I will say that it's really nice to have the altimeter and the access to the strobes right here. I don't have to worry about reaching back to turn on an, like an external strobe. All of it's integrated up here super nicely, and it looks super professional too. So I do like that, and I like how clean it looks. Hey guys, this is still the, um, this is the same dual spark, dual start, Cosmos 300 on this Fly Products Zenit trike. So you do have uh, redundant independent ignition systems, redundant two independent spark plugs, and in the cockpit you also have magneto test buttons so that you can verify before flight that each one of those spark plugs and ignition systems is working individually. What's that? So how do you know that bumps are not my flying? I don't. It's probably your flying. Yeah. Allie, we'll be landing us. Jiminy Christmas, that's some tall grass. All right, bleed the energy, choose a side, and pull the other hand, and turn towards it. Good job. And stop it. We had fun, and we didn't die. And we didn't die. <laughs>